lovely greetings to you my students and welcome you to today's class recording the last class i taught you the introductory part of crop pest whereby i was able to define crop pest and also state type of crop pest but in today's uh, class i'll be taking the second aspect of the topic crop pest and we'll be emphasizing more on the damages that are done by crop pest mostly we'll be uh, dwelling on insect crop pest and briefly just briefly on rodents now the outline for today's topic will be based on how to identify crop pest the damage crop pests do the crops they attack uh, the preventive measures how to control crop pest because we have different types of controlling different means of controlling crop pest we have the biological means um, chemical means we have cultural means we have uh, mechanical means Although it's not well spelled out in this uh, topic, but because our major emphasis in this topic is just to explain, uh, my major emphasis, my major reason for this uh, topic is to just explain the nature of damage that are done by um, crop pests. Now, don't forget I explained to you that rabbits, squirrels are also examples of crop pests, but they are animal. They are croppers that belong to the rodents. Now, army worm to start with. Army worms attack cereals, most especially maize. The larva of army worm normally eat up and uh, eat up the leaves and stems of of maize, thereby reducing photosynthesis, retarding growth, and reducing yield. Now, the control method is by hand picking and spraying of the maize plant with insecticide. Now, the hand picking is a mechanical method of uh, uh, pest control while spraying with insecticide example ddt is an example of chemical method of um, crop i mean crop crop pest control now stem borers normally attack cereal crops especially rice maize and guinea corn they tend to bore holes into the stems the, into the stems of crops and uh, this boring of holes causes the plants to weaken they also eat up the tissues of the stem now stem borers are examples of boring insect crop pests while army worm is an example of biting and chewing crop insect crop pest now preventive measures of stem borers is to uproot and burn the infected plant or spray insect spray the plants with insecticide and also um, practice early planting and um, crop rotation now early planting crop rotation and early planting and crop rotation are examples of cultural method of crop pest control now the next one is pot borer pot borer is an example of a burrowing crop pest now the the crop the the pot borer normally attack the legumes examples are cowpea and soybeans the larva of this uh, pod borer bore holes into the pods of crops they eat up the leaves and this causes a reduction in the yield now a preventive measure is to practice crop rotation is to harvest early spray with insecticides and um, the, now the crop rotation is an example of a cultural method like i said before early harvesting is also an example of uh, cultural method now the next one is the aphids now aphids are also referred to as plant lice as you can see in the picture you can see how the lies are all um they are all grouped to one stem now that's what makes them to be plant lies now the the crops they attacks include legumes especially cowpea and soybean they cause stunting of growth of the crops. They also cause galls on the leaves. The aphids are also vectors of disease. Examples are rosette, mosaic disease of cowpea. Now, preventive measures is to spray the um, crop with insecticide to kill the insect and also uproot and burn infected plants. Uprooting and burning of infected plants is a mechanical or physical method of crop control, of crop pest control. Now the next one is capsid bulbs. 
The capsid bugs usually attack cocoa, a beverage crop. They inject the uh, pests, inject toxic saliva into the plant. They also transmit fungal disease to the plant and also reduces yield. They cause stunting of growth. Now, the typical method of controlling them is by spraying the crop with an um, insecticide such as gamalin 20 and also regular weeding. Now, capsid bog is an example of piercing and sucking insect crop pests. Don't forget I taught you in the last class. And also, plant lice is also an example of piercing and sucking insect crop pests. Now, the next one is a variegated grasshopper, also known as Zonocerus variegatus. Uh, it normally affects most annual crops. Annual crops such as um, cassava, such as yam, such as maize, such as um, to, uh, such as rice. Now, uh, nature of damage include the adults and larva of grasshopper eating up the leaves and stems of grasshopper. This causes the photosynthesis rate to reduce. Now, a typical method of controlling grasshopper, variegated grasshopper on the farm is by hand picking them and also spraying with insects such as Ardrex 40. Now, variegated grasshopper is called an because it has various colors, unlike some other grasshopper that has only one type of color. And the next one is a cotton stainer. Now, the cotton stainer usually attack cotton and uh, the damage it does is that it pierces and sucks sap from the plant of course cutting stain is an example of piercing and sucking insect crop pests now in the process of piercing and sucking it, it normally release its toxic saliva into the crops due to this causes a transmission of disease and also reduction in the quality of the cutting balls and eventually leads to leaf distortion. Now, a control method is by hand picking of the pests and also spraying with insecticide. Next one is trips. Now, the trips looks like a scorpion, but it is not. All right. Now, because it has only six legs, while scorpions has eight legs. Now, the trips normally attack vegetables. A damage the damage it do is that it causes browning of the leaves of the crops wilting of the plant reduction in yield now a control method is by spraying the plant with insecticide now spraying with insecticide is much more faster than other methods of insect crop pest control now we bean weevil now bean weevil normally is a stored in is a stored pest it normally attack crops in the in the store it is not a food pest now it attacks um, crops such as rice like cowpea like maize and uh, other uh, seed producing crops now they bore holes into the grains and eat up the cotyledons it causes reduction in the quantity in the quality in the income of farmer it also causes reduction in the market value of the grains a typical method of uh, controlling them is by harvesting early, uh, storing of the crops properly, uh, proper drying of the seeds. The, the grains will also be stored over fireplaces. Now rodents, which is um, the last part of, last part of this um, topic I'll be explaining. Now top uh, rodents normally attack crops either in the field or in the store and so it attacks rice yam cassava fruits and many other types of crops now they feed on crops and destroy the whole plant a typical method of controlling them is by using traps or rodenticides or use of um, predators don't forget in today's lesson i've been able to explain to you so many insect croppers and the damage they do and also, uh, don't forget gorillas, monkeys, and other, and also birds are also examples of crop pests, which causes a lot of damage to farmers. Now, most time the damage eventually leads to losses by farmer. Now, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next class. Bye.